Welcome to Griffin's Gaming Guides. In this video, we're going to go over how to acquire the Rebellion Spear melee weapon, which you can find on Yasha. Provided you've got the Forbidden Grove as your starting area, you can then go through and have a chat with Bedell of the Vaunt. Have a chat with Bedell where he's going to ask you to help the Doe. Now, the Doe is kind of the god of the Pan, the Pan being the native tribes of Yasha before the root came and basically took everything over. Now what you need to do is make your way through to the Ravager's Lair. You're gonna find a link below the like button for exactly how to access the Ravager's Lair. You need to play a specific set of notes on the Water Harp and also how to take down the Ravager. Now for this one, once you're in the Ravager's Lair, the Ravager itself will give you a choice. You can either kill the Doe and become eternal, or you can fight the Ravager where it thinks it can beat you. Now for this one, there's a third option. If you walk up to the side of the Doe, you're then gonna be able to press either square or cross or whatever button it is on PC in order to be able to revive the dough. You are gonna use one of your relics in doing so. However, once you have revived the dough, it will then attack the Ravager, dealing absolutely no damage, which is, you know, not very helpful. However, in doing so, it will allow the dough to escape. You then need to take down the corrupted Ravager, which is a fairly tough fight, so make sure that you go in prepared. Once you've done so, you're then gonna be able to go back and have a chat with Badel, who will still be in the Forbidden Grove, exactly the same place where you spoke to him initially. Once you've done so, he will thank you for freeing the Goddess of the Pan. Now the Rebellion Spear is the starting gear for the Summoner. If you've already managed to get the Summoner archetype unlocked over at the Blood Moon Altar, once you've done so, start a new character, you're gonna have a Rebellion Spear. However, if you want one on a different archetype, that's how you can acquire it. And it is a fairly good weapon as it has a very, very long range compared to the majority of, that, of other melee weapons. So make sure that you go through and pick this one up. It will help you out. So that's how to acquire the Rebellion Spear melee weapon in Remnant 2. I do hope that the guides helped you out. If it has, do me a massive favor. You're gonna find the subscribe button down below. Give it a click, it does help us out a great deal. Either way though, whichever you decide to do, you guys take care of yourselves, enjoy the rest of your week, and we do look forward to seeing you back here at Griffin's Gaming Guides. Your timing is fortuitous, Carl. We shall seal our pact. Do it, Carl. Join me in glory. Soft, be still. There, in the glade. Take this, and the prophets of oblivion shall flee before it, and let it be forever known as the bulwark of the dawn. 